it's Tracy's our workout today is gonna be awesome so it's arms and it's abs at the same time okay standing up you don't need a lot of room so today I'm gonna use just one pound weights I'm still getting over a little bit of an injury so for you I suggest anywhere between one and three pound weights now that's if you're trying to keep your arms really lean and small kind of dancer like if you're looking for a little bit of, of uh, building some more muscle and you want your arms to be a little bit larger feel free you can add a little bit more resistance okay so let's get started stand with your legs about hip width apart here have your palms facing towards you and you're just going to tee up your arms here okay good and three and as always pull in those abdominals so you're really drawing your belly into the spine you should feel your back engaged here it should feel good excellent let's do that again so a second set like that up just that T. I always visualize my shoulder blades just gliding down my back it's as though they're trying to reach down towards my pelvis. It helps to keep those shoulders away from your ears. Good. Two more like that. And excellent. Okay, good. So now you're going to bend at your elbows. Close. Open. Then do a little crunch here. The arms stay attached to your back, meaning that I'm not moving my arms. You could. It's just a different exercise, okay? little crunch forward, pulling in your abdominals, and close, and open, and crunch, okay? So just as if you were doing a crunch on the floor, that's the feeling you want here. Really pull in those abs super duper tight, and then because we're holding the weights here, especially if you have a little bit more weight than I have, you're definitely going to start to feel those shoulders, your deltoids engaging, and good. Keep going, and forward, that's it. Close and forward. Excellent. Let's do two more like that. And crunch, pull in your belly. Excellent. Last one. And good. Okay, good. So now start with the palms facing towards you. Zip up the front of your body. Just really simple here. You're trying to get your elbows as high as possible but without losing your neck. Okay? So keep those shoulders down your back. And excellent. And eight. Good, that's it, two more. And perfect, so now, same movement, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see, you're gonna do a little tuck with your pelvis, using your abdominals, and then back to neutral. Pull in your abs as you do that zip, okay? So really pull in the waist. You got it, and six, keep going. Mm -hmm. And eight, excellent. And good. So one of my new favorites here, you're going to stand, keeping your hips square here. Lean a little bit on a diagonal, okay? So the arm that's closest to me, you're going to keep it straight and just open it. So it's like a half an X, okay? So forward here, engaging your obliques because you're not moving your hips. Keep them square and then open, okay? Forward and open. On this forward move, I really want you to squeeze your waist, okay? Remember, you've got to keep your mind in it. Don't think about all the other stuff. Think about what am I doing? I want my arms and my abs to be awesome. And they are if you do this. Good. Keep going. That's it. Good. Two more. And last one. Okay, good. So now starting here, reach over and center. Okay? Over. Now I'm not moving my hips yet. And four. Good. That's it. You got it. And five. Again, you're squeezing your belly up and in. Remember that visualization that it's like you're doing this in your bikini, okay? So I bet you're going to draw in those abs a whole lot more if you're thinking that, oh man, I'm in my bikini doing this. And eight, or if you're a guy, you know, you're in your swimsuit. And good. So now add your hips. So hips side to side. And really exaggerate it here, not only because it's fun, but it gets your waist and your back moving a little bit more. You've got your hips. So again, multitasking. We are busy, so make it count. And good. Two more like that. So now we're going to do all of that on the other side. So again, hips are square here. Lean forward on that diagonal. Feel that little squeeze. And then just open and squeeze and open. And three. That's it. And four. You got it. And five. Shoulders down the back. Six. And again, seven. And eight. Good, two more. And last one, okay good. So here, in and up. 
and center and up. So not moving your hips here. No movement of those hips. And five, not yet. Six, and again, seven, really squeeze. Excellent, two more. Good, so now add the hips. So hips side to side, really exaggerate. And three, good. Four, you got it. And five, and six, seven, awesome, good. Eight, and nine, and perfect. Okay, good, so now we're gonna do a little monkey up with your arms. So you're drawing those arms up by your armpits. Try, again, trying to get those elbows high, but not the shoulders. Really keep those shoulders down your back, super important, okay? We're also not trying to build up your trapezius, that muscle, okay? We want to keep a nice feminine neck, right? Good, so now you're gonna add just a little pelvis movement. So you're working those abdominals, so squeeze your abs, then let your butt stick out and squeeze and out, okay? Squeeze, abs are tight, getting that torso moving, your pelvis moving, your abs are pulling in, and six, that's it, and seven, good, and eight, and nine, and excellent, okay, good, so now we're going to keep your elbows up really high here, your palms are facing towards you, lift the pinkies here, and bring it in, I love this exercise, because it tones your shoulders, your triceps, no jiggly jigglies back there, okay? So you want that for sure. And seven, keep those elbows up. If they start dropping down, you're just not gonna feel it as much. And you're not gonna see the results either. So I know you want some results. And good, all right, so now stay here. You're gonna go into a V, okay? Keep your arms like this. Again, the arms are just engaged in your back, so don't let them get all weird and loosey-goosey. You're gonna inhale here and then twist. So notice I am not turning my hips at all. I'm thinking of keeping them locked in place. And the reason for that is because I want to feel my oblique squeezing, okay? And because you're holding your arms like this, again, you've got a nice static contraction in your arms. And seven, that's it, good. And eight, excellent. Good, so now we're gonna do that on the other side. So back to that little, I call this the robot. Good, you can do this as a nice dance move. Yeah, impress your friends. <laughs> So now back to that V, twist. Keep those arms into your back. Three and four, that's it, good. And five, really squeeze. And six, perfect. Seven, beautiful, good. And eight, two more like that. And I told you it was my favorite. Going back to that robot, open and squeeze, good. And each set is gonna start feeling more challenging. And I am only doing this on one pound weight, so if you've got a heavier weight, see how it feels for you. <laughs> and nine. Okay, good. So now I'm going to a ballerina arm. So it's just sort of like a rounded arm here. Again, keep the arms engaged and do a rotation. So we're feeling those obliques here. And three. Keep those hips forward. Mm -hmm. And five. And six. Perfect. And eight. Nine. Good, let's do it again. And open, and open. That's it, shoulders stay down. Keep your neck really easy. Don't let it get into the neck here, especially as it gets more challenging, right? And eight, good, just two more. Okay, good, so stay here. Back to your ballerina and twist. Woo, and twist. My shoulders are on fire. And four, keep going, and five. Six, I promise you, even if you're doing this with no weights, these movements will be challenging as well. So you can build up to it. And excellent, and so that's it. So I want you to go through that cycle three times, okay? You can break it up. Let's just shoulder roll here, just loosen up those shoulders just a little bit. Good, and then go forward. Excellent, take your hands on top of your shoulders, lift the elbows really high, getting a little tricep stretch, and then circle the arms back and do that again. Good, and then reverse those circles. And perfect. So you've gone through that workout three times. I want you to leave your comments below. And make sure, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put up new workouts every Thursday. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.
Are you ready for your perfect body? Be sure to visit tracycampoli.com and purchase your perfect body formula.